Uh, this one is one I've been wanting to talk about because, uh, you know, we haven't been on for a little while. It, it's maybe somewhat of a more out-of-the-box idea. Um, we at Dodgers Nation got the wheels in motion uh, on uh, the idea of a return of the Zach, Granky, that is. Um, about a month ago, our, our, our boy Doug McCain put out a video here on our YouTube channel. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. It's another quality video by uh, Douglas. But um, afterwards, I, I expanded on the idea of a return of Zach Grinke. He's 30, 38 now. Um, Man, this is already 38. Dude can get it done. Dude can still get it done. He is a quality veteran presence that I would I would argue is more approachable than a Max Scherzer type um, in any given situation. Less aggressive. <laughs> He's not aggressive. He's not aggressive. Definitely not aggressive. Um, but uh, notably, our, our pal DV, Dave Essay, has also uh, <clears throat> uh, since shared our sentiment on the uh, the airwaves about the idea of Granky and, you know, the idea of... It, it's a veteran presence. Besides what he could bring to the rotation, there's also the veteran presence of bringing somebody like that because you have you're you're phasing into a much younger starting rotation especially if we start to see guys like you know probably not bobby miller in 2022 but you might see him get a cup of coffee uh even though the 40-man roster is very tight right now ryan pepio is definitely right there on the doorstep you know but you get the guys like mitch white tony gonsolin who definitely can use um that right-hander without the elite stuff of a Max Scherzer, um, that approachable right-hander who is approachable only in that he's always down to talk baseball and help you figure something out. Um, notably, he's thrown 250 more innings uh, than Kershaw since leaving the Dodgers. So that's a good amount of innings. That's like a year and a half of innings. Yeah. more, depending on which starter it is, cause if it's Kershaw. Boy. <laughs> um and and that's also you know with one year being the the sixty game COVID year and last year, uh, Granky I think he had a back thing uh, and then also same. was out with the the, the Ronis, same also, also same. same. So that helped that hurt him a whole bunch. He had like a three and a half ERA for most of the season. Dude can still get it done. He could help this team a whole bunch. I love the idea of Zach Granky. Give me your thoughts on that real quick. Go ahead. In terms of Zach Granky, where do I stand? Ooh, I would very much love to have me some weird Zach Granky back on this Hell team. Hell yeah! I love what that dude brings. God he's bless America. Incredibly strange in the best possible way, <clears throat> and I really want him back because he's a little bit of a serial killer vibes, and I think that we kind of need that. You know, when they talk about Zach Granky stories, like yes. any player. I've never not been entertained by those stories. You know, when he talks, when, when they talk about like how he treated SEL, very good stories, by the way, a lot of them. Um, I think if you're looking for like real rotation help, that's not the guy you're looking for, but he is going to be a guy who can give you a lot of innings, probably can get it done for the entire year if he stays healthy. And, you know, he doesn't bring it like he used to. I mean, what does he throw, like 86, 87? He's an 88 kind of boy. He's a he's a Dan Heron type of, uh, of uh, arm. But He he's, tells batters what he's going to throw. He's crafty. He knows how to get in your head a little bit. Mm -hmm. He uh, He's experienced. Uh, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. And that's the type of veteran that you kind of want around your clubhouse. That's the type of veteran that you want available to pitch games for you, especially like late playoff games for you. If you have Zach Grinke as like your game four starter in a playoff series, you're in, a, you're in a decent position. That's Absolutely. that's when you're off to a pretty good start in the postseason. So I think bringing him back is good for a number of reasons. Would he want to come back? I hope so. Like, I hope you'd want to come play anywhere yeah. that will take him. But you could probably get him on a two-year deal pretty easily. And on under $30 million, I would probably imagine would be the number for him. Well, we know he wanted to be the, the you know, get the biggest contract, the biggest, the most money available to him in that 2015, 2016 offseason. He went out and got it. He got paid what an extra year and like thirty some odd thirty two million from from uh, the Diamondbacks, um, you know, kind of. At the time, I thought it was going to be you know more of career poison than it proved to be. You know, it's pretty ridiculous the fact that he had fifty two wins in his three seasons in L A. That's that's nuts. Of course, wins don't mean anything anymore apparently. But um, beyond all that, uh, yeah, there's a lot of of solid benefit, and especially if. We don't think the Dodgers have any faith in David Price as a starter. At this point, you can't rely on DP as a long-term starter. Definitely, you can always rely on DP. Definitely, at this point, don't want to have 
you know, love Tony, but Gonsolin is not our number four October guy. I just want Tony to be successful. And beyond that, you know who is it also? Andrew F. and Heaney. I would contend that Andrew Heaney is probably not going to be on the roster uh, after summer, personally speaking. Sorry, there was a lot of there was a lot of words, and then I started reading them, and then um, yeah, here we are. But uh, yeah, that's what I want. Uh, there's no qualifying offer attached to uh, to Zach Granke. I think it works, and I think I, I would say closer to two and, and thirty because he is, you know, sure he's thirty eight, but you know, Scherzer went out and just got a billion dollars or whatever the hell he got for three years at the same age. Uh, Carnivus Lunar Activity notes that Dustin May is coming back. It's worth <clears throat> noting that he will not be back as a starting pitcher. There is almost zero chance of that happening at any point. He'll come back as a reliever, probably. And I don't even, I don't even know what amount he'll be used because they're going to be want to be very careful with him. That's the dude that is like one of their pieces of the long-term future. And you don't really want to risk that for the last like month and a half of the season or something like that. Yeah, yeah. We we can't we uh, in the communist Dodger sense. Um, they can't get in stuck in the same situation they were last year, where you know they threw all of their bullets to try to win that, you know, win the, the NL West again, and all of their bullets were really just Walker and Julio, and then they were basically non-factors in October. Yeah. You got to play for October. They got to build out this, you know, they had this this super deep rotation to start 2021 and then who the, the, the bodies hit the floor. The good news though is I mean, there is a chance that you get Dustin May back as like a bullpen guy and that's going to be a huge addition especially with like the boy. type of stuff that he can throw out of that bullpen. That's mm-hmm. going to be freaking phenomenal. And you got to imagine they're planning around that at some point. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you get into the end of the season with the bullpen, but that's, you know, bullpen you still need to kind of stretch these these those last 2 months out. Yep. And you know, starter wise and if you don't have you know, if you do have like let's say they do get Kershaw and Granky or whatever, you do have a solid five there, and from what I hear, a solid five can a solid get some five, uh, yeah. can get some good work done for you. But um, <clears throat> you know, again, it, it helps a thin rotation without losing more prospect capital. But trades are definitely more of Andrew Fre- uh, Andrew Friedman's cup of tea. That's his flavor. He likes trading more than he likes paying for people. 